This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Popping in while relaxing with the boys. Awesome! Glad to have you! Hope you're having a great weekend thus far. The newly designated Meowmo has officially become a component of Michiru's world. In comm commemoration, the girl bought pricey white meat from some pet food store, after breaking it up into tiny chunks, fed it to the cat in question. Of course, the finicky little beast barely ate half the bowl before turning up his nose and wandering off. But Michiru smiled happily nonetheless. Even as she complained about her friend's high-class tastes, the girl looked deeply gratified. It wasn't an unpleasant little scene. I doubt any objective observer would take me for an average student, but in the time I've spent with Michiru recently, I think we have become a fairly convincing ordinary couple. Even if it is nothing but a game. Under the bed. <laughs> That's exactly what a cat does! <laughs> None. I was reading quietly in my room, but that seems to be at an end. Not only Michiru, but even her pet are now barging in here whenever they feel like it. That said, the cat's still wary of me. Whenever I approach, he runs off and hides. Don't understand why he comes to my room for the express purpose of fleeing. The animal's a more convincing Sundere than his master ever was. <laughs> Yeah, I'm listening. Are you asking about this creature's particular capabilities, or the linguistic intelligence of cats in general? <laughs> Yuchi, you need to use short, easy words, like, how about lunch, and help yourself poo. Well, let's see. To simplify somewhat, I think he understands about as much as you do. What an insult. So you're not? Oh, I don't like her putting herself down. Well, it's impossible to really understand the thoughts of someone who you can't hold a conversation with. Even among fellow human beings, a difference in language can lead to pointless conflict. Real question is, who is the better Sundere, her or you? <laughs> or, or Kyo? Yeah, I'm not a Sundere at all. Um, are you talking about in terms of which character I personally enjoy more? Or are you saying who is, like, actually better at acting like a Sundere? The answer in both cases is Michiru, by the way. <laughs> 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 Look, here's the thing, Michiru hasn't committed a felony. <laughs> so, well, at least that I know of. <laughs> we haven't gotten her backstory yet, though. <laughs> and also she has a cat, so that's big points as well. I wasn't trying to be obtuse. It's a simple question of how we communicate our intentions to each other. Very basic stuff. <laughs> Her cat's still perched on her head, Michiru approaches me timidly, a frown on her face. But it's an exaggerated performance. I can tell that she's not actually too unhappy at the moment. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> That's so. Guess your make-believe game was a wise choice. I have a feeling things are about to get very uncomfortable very quickly. Kids, don't pretend date anybody. Especially somebody who you actually have a crush on. Sure, it's not like where we've been drawing a clear line, so that works for me. Don't phrase it like that. Not sure I'd necessarily infer that dating someone means that they're your boyfriend. Um... Oh, you're one of those people, Yuji. Michiru, yeah, this outfit of Michiru's is actually pretty good. I, I'm a big fan. 
guess you could interpret it that way. I, I, I like it when characters have multiple outfits in a VN. It, it shows the time and effort that they took in making it. <laughs> Maybe they should have spent more time on the dialogue. <laughs> You're a strange one. Want some water? The beverage of canes. And queens. I see. Then I'll have some myself. I take a bottle of mineral water from the fridge, pour a glass, and gulp a mouthful. The cool liquid slides pleasantly down my gullet. Hmm? Sure, not a problem. Wait a second, I'll get you a glass. Michiru snatches the glass from my hands, then hesitantly examines it, seemingly uncertain where to put her mouth. In the end, she squeezes her eyes shut and chugs down the rest of the water. Uh, what? You're not a child, alright? Don't start squawking about indirect kisses just because our lips mashed against the same piece of glass. I retrieve the glass from Michiru's cl ch uh, clutches, leave it in the sink, and take a seat on the bed. Michiru follows, lowering herself to sit at my side. What's with you? Oh, that's easy. Oh, that's easy. We both get down on the bed, look at each other's eyes, and play Pokemon. I'm not reading that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm uncomfortable reading that. Something the matter? Now, don't don't worry, folks, because if we ever if we get into a sticky situation, we can always just swap. Swap the scenes. Plus, this is the, uh, censored version. When a young man and woman find themselves alone behind closed doors, it's a perfectly natural outcome. All the more for so, so for a romantic couple. Don't they seek out privacy for that express purpose? Bright red all the way to her ears. Mishiru lowers her eyes from my face. I'll suppose it's understandable. It may be the truth, but I'm being pretty frank about it. Well, want to make pretend like- How? No! What? You- You- <laughs> This is getting uncomfortable. See, Mitru is now best girl. She's like, ah, uh, no, I'm not doing that. She's the only one with standards. That's... Well, and I guess probably Yumiko as well. That's probably the proper attitude, yes. Alright then, let me ask you this instead. This may be a game, but you've still voluntarily paid a private visit to your boyfriend's room. What did you have in mind? Well, obviously, we're gonna make homemade fudge. We have the cocoa and the heavy cream. <laughs> You'd be surprised, Marty. I immediately seize one of Michiru's hands. See, th now this is okay, but if it goes beyond holding hands, we're gonna need to get the chaperone in. <laughs> okay, done. Anything else? We can't do that in front of the cat. <laughs> the innocent little cat. A kiss, eh? Where? Kiss on the cheek is very cute. Ooh! Happy 8th birthday to Liam! Woo woo! 8 is a great year. <laughs> Hope he has a fantastic day. Oh, are you having cake? <laughs> I hope so. You can't have a birthday without cake, otherwise you don't age up. That's how it works. I see. But we're not actually going to do it, are we? Since this is just pretend and all. <laughs> okay, that's true. Birthday pie you also can age up. That's that's one of those loopholes. As well as birthday brownies. You gotta have a baked good. A sweet for your birthday. And banana bread doesn't count. I see. That's not much different from the normal routine, but if that's good enough for you, I don't mind. <laughs> Brownie cake! Apparently, protrude. <laughs> protrude. 
Let's try that again. Apparently perturbed by Michiru's constant vac vacillating, the cat leaps down from her head and runs off to hide under something. <laughs> okay, we're making out, just like those characters in the game that we're playing, Marty. But I'm not going to, right? Since this is only pretend. <laughs> Am I the only one who just doesn't really see the appeal of cheesecake? It's alright, but it's not, like, amazing. Also, welcome, Nick! Nice to see ya! Uh, we're in the middle of a very uncomfortable... Not actually that uncomfortable of a scene, it's just kind of weird. <laughs> you sure? Even as she speaks, Mitru inches away from me. Well, she's the one who asked. I reach over and grab the girl's shoulder, gently pulling her back toward me in order to comply with her request. We are kissing, aren't we? <laughs> Beep boop. Now initiating the kiss. Now, granted, the only cheesecake I've really had was the cheesecake at my college, which is obviously going to be bottom-tier cheesecake. Like, no question. But even then, I still don't see the appeal, really. It's kind of like the meh of desserts. I would take it over carrot cake, though. Because carrot cake's not real cake. Here goes! Squirming inside my arms, Michiru turns to face away for her face away from mine. Soon enough, she's made up an excuse. I will not take it back. Carrot cake kind of sucks. <laughs> the carrot cake that our f that our sister-in-law's dad makes is is good, but that's the exception that proves the rule. Most carrot cake, it's like, I might as well be eating a muffin. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't I didn't read that. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I love how we're getting this uncomfortable, like, makeout scene between Yuji and Michiru, and we're just talking about carrot cake and cheesecake. <laughs> I'll be returning to point-blank range soon enough anyway. Backing off now would be a waste of time. Ooh, going to Disney, Nick. Very nice. Very nice. That's a great place. I observe Mitra's face from a few centimeters away. Her cheeks are alarmingly red. Her chest has heaves violently with every breath. One would almost suspect a sudden illness of some sort, but I suppose the girl's just extremely tense. We good to go? <clears throat> oh yeah, Marty and I are in the same building right now, so at any point if I keep insulting Cheesecake, she could, like, barge down here and then yell my real name into the microphone. <laughs> Don't do that, though. As soon as the girl finally gives me the go-ahead, I close the distance between us and claim her lips without hesitation. Her shoulder twitches inside my grip, and in the next instant I can feel her whole body go as stiff as a plank. After a moment, I slowly open my mouth. Michiru's lips adhered to mine naturally as part as well. Here's the thing, though, Marty. If you actually do come downstairs, I'll be able to hear, hear you before you arrive. And my microphone doesn't pick up on stuff unless it's pretty darn close. Her eyes squeeze shut as if in pain. Michiru shakes her shoulders vigorously, apparently trying to squirm away and escape. I am only half paying attention to the scene right now. And so the kiss ends. It only lasted a few seconds, but I'm getting the impression it felt a good deal longer to Michiru. Um, yes. <laughs> Come on, be, be, be gentle with the girl. Hmm, I believe kisses between romantic partners tend to go roughly along those lines. <laughs> well, Dane, I guess, I guess I need to stop playing and everybody watch Raid Pirate. <laughs> I see. Suppose it's my fault for not double-checking first. Want to do over? <laughs> I have a feeling that she just had an encounter with, like, 
<laughs> a very unpleasant kiss. She's like, wait, that's what kissing is? That sucks! <laughs> Marty is my little sister. Nobody so much as hinted at that possibility, but Michiru denies it anyways. Probably attempting to convince herself of something. What are you saying? The others should be coming back tomorrow. Since the idea behind these pretend dates was to kill time, they should no longer be necessary, right? If he's if he is still streaming at the end of my stream, I will raid raid pirate. <laughs> it's a deal. Oh, what's this? Pretty sudden attitude change. Has your Sundari engine started up again? Oh no. Why is the cat mad, too? I'm not sure whether the girl's playing tough or really means that, but she does offer a convincingly ferocious gale, uh, glare. Darn. That a fact. But tell me, Michiru. Why are you going after the cat instead of me? Also, you got the name wrong. How do you get your tooth to do that? How do you get, like, just one tooth to dangle out of your mouth like that? Also, how do you make your mouth do that? <laughs> <laughs> Compare Mijiru's face to the face of the cat. The cat's just like, what have I gotten myself into? Hmm. Oh, you can understand what she's saying without even having to read the subtitles? That's great. Not really. Well, let's continue to maintain a mutually cordial acquaintance, my friend. It, did the did the dangle teeth begin with Snagglepuss? That Hanna Barbera character, and then people were like, "Oh my gosh, that's cute. Let's put it in every anime character." I don't know why they don't do th that mouth more. That mouth is much better. <laughs> also, this is still kind of a creepy sprite. It looks like she's bleeding behind her eyes right there, even though it's just the lighting. With those words, Mitru stalks out of my room. Have to admit, her exceptionally abrupt change in attitude took my slightly by surprise, but I'm fairly sure I only spoke the truth. Our relationship was nothing but a role-playing fantasy, founded in fiction, not real feelings. Do you really still believe that? I mean, that's the exact reason we were able to be together so easily, wasn't it? I have a feeling this is going to get messy. Uh, really? Do you, Yuji? I don't know why you could ever think that. I lie down on my bed and heave a deep sigh. The scent of Mitru's artificial fragrance lingers on the tips of my fingers. Double two teeth for human teeth, especially upper canines with an uncommonly fame-like appearance. Okay. It's perceived as a sign of youthfulness and natural beauty. Okay. Okay. Interesting, but nobody has those teeth in real life. If you have a tooth like that in real life that just naturally dangles out of the top of your mouth, go and see a dentist about that. It's a sweet and gentle smell. Pleasant in its own way, but badly out of place in this dreary room. Five in the morning. It is extremely bright out for being five in the morning. Whether or not the world changes around me, my priorities stay the same. Barring a jog request, or job request or other special circumstances, I run. Simple as that. Haven't seen Mitru yet today. Of course, it's still early in the morning, but I've got the sense that she won't be approaching me quite so proactively from now on. Naturally, that's because the others are coming back. With their return, our private make-believe world is coming to an end. We'll be returning to our normal lives, such as they are. I run my standard route at a fixed moderate pace, careful not to win myself. 
and finish with a light cooldown cruise. Of course I regularly pour water into my heated body to prevent dehydration. It's the exact same routine as always, but for some reason it feels less than fully satisfying today. The day slips past noon and there's still no sign of Michiru. I briefly consider heading up to her room to see if anything happened, but that would probably be an overreaction. It's possible that she's just sleeping in, for one thing. After all, we've been running around all over the place on those pretend dates. It wouldn't be surprising if the accumulated fatigue caused her to oversleep. In the end, I decide to take a walk around the campus to clear my mind. I'm fully familiar with the scenery by now, but a firm grasp of the local terrain and arrangement of nearby buildings is extremely important. It's crucial to maintain awareness of visible, viable escape routes and suitable places to take shelter in case of an emergency. At such times, up-to-date and precise knowledge of your environment can be the difference between life and death. Therefore, I proceed to sequentially compare the layout of the area against the map in my mind. Sakaki? Oh, hey! Grumpy Yuri is back. She looks as cheerful as ever. Sakaki? I see. What's with that look on your face? Something wrong? Where's the awful little girl? We don't mention Makina. <laughs> As I was imagining various crisis scenarios while reviewing the area, it seems my face naturally grew somewhat fierce. I stick my index fingers in the corners of my mouth and push them upward. <laughs> Somewhere around T signs, perhaps. <laughs> Did she die? No, she didn't die. She just went to Amine's house for her summer vacation. Well, how's this? Better now? <laughs> you said I was scary, so I constructed a pleasant smile for your benefit. What's so strange about that? Hmm. Even I clown around every once in a while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you get when you cross an elephant and a jar of peanut butter? An elephant that sticks to the roof of your mouth! <laughs> Very well. I will now tell a joke. A sandwich walks into a bar. The barman says, Sorry, we don't serve food in here. Come on, that was pretty good. Very dorky, but it was good. <laughs> That's the look everyone gives me after I tell a pun. I don't like it. Sakaki, my friend, allow me to explain. The word serve can refer to both offering certain items for sale and... <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone says. What? I had a lot of confidence in that one. It was a smash hit in Dien Bien Pu, you know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Neither did she. <laughs> don't know about that one. I'm just the same person as I've always been. Oh yeah, she was buying souvenirs. I hope it's fudge. Whoa! A fluorescent green coal in the dark skeleton keychain? Never expected you'd actually buy one, much less such an anatomically correct model. With limbs that rattle back and forth. We did. We absolutely did. <laughs> well, I suppose. But the visual impact was intense enough for the that this fanfare ran out of my head. Why is Yumiko being so nice? How did this go from the girl trying to actively murder us to, like, the friendliest, jolliest, happiest kid around? <laughs> I see. Give them to her later. I'm sure she'll be pleased. Penance, though? You barely even find those fins in souvenir shops these days. Where exactly did Sakaki wander off to, anyways? Alright, bye, Marty. Thanks for joining in. <coughs> no! Not her! Not her! A few minutes later, Makina's voice unexpectedly reaches my ears. Her high-pitched squawking prompts something almost like nostalgia. That must mean Amine's back as well. Tadaima! I... <laughs> the, the best I can give is a handshake. Not necessary. I'm satisfied to see you've safely returned. That's all that matters. 
Don't interpret it like that. I'll rephrase that then. I find your safe return preferable to the alternative. I don't think I'm smiling, actually. No, I think I'll pass. I tried something similar just now, but it didn't get a very good reception. <laughs> Alright, enough of that, Amine. My friend, were you able to enjoy a satisfactory period of rest and recreation? Amine answers while lightly smacking her own shoulder in a show of weariness. <laughs> I imagine spending summer vacation with Makina would be draining. Is that a Japanese delicacy? Yep. Um, no. For one, I don't really want to eat squid to begin with, let alone four-day-old squid. Why do you still have that? That's not how- that's not how the force works! <laughs> hmm. Makanamet went out of her way to bring it back, so I suppose I'll take a bite. Surely a very small amount can't do that much digestive damage. Yeah, you really shouldn't, Yuji. Mishiru makes an abrupt dashing entrance. Just as before, she's fully clad in Sundari armor, her expression cheerful and energe energetic. It's four days old. Don't do it, Michiru. Of course. <sighs> what a bold spirit. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. This is cruel. Ugh. And once again, Michiru is back to just being the butt monkey. In response to Amine's words, Michiru shoots a quick glance in my direction. I'm not sure of the meaning behind this, if there is any. No! Where? Not! Makina leaps in my direction and unabashedly coils herself around my arm. The girl seems to be performing her best impression of a monkey escaped from the zoo. Somebody's weirdly brazen today. Hmm. Rude. That's not nice. Mishiru bites her lower lip and stares in our direction with a troubled expression on her face. It's clear that Mishiru has suddenly lost her composure. She actually seems to be hyperventilating slightly. What's wrong, Mishiru? Calm yourself. Somehow I'm not convinced. I exchange looks with Amine. She seems equally concerned. Makina, just go and unpack your stuff. Practically torn off by me by Amine, Makina grudgingly sets off toward the dorm. Uh -oh. 
Yeah, yeah. As soon as the two are out of sight, Michiru lowers her head to me apologetically. For what? Oof. Scared? Of what exactly? Well, change is inevitable, Michiru. I drop a hand onto Michiru's head and pet her like a cat. That's no good. If you're a Sundere, then act like one. You're worrying too much about a lot of things. Speaking of cats... You do that. There's still plenty of time until graduation, isn't there? No reason to break down now. Um, it's eating something on top of your head. I'll admit to being somewhat worried, but I'll do my best to pretend otherwise. <laughs> Sachi, I am glad to see you have returned to the land. <laughs><笑>あら、サチじゃない。ちょっと見ない間に。いや、特に変わり映えしないわね。そうですね。人というのはそれほど簡単に変わるものではありませんからね。ミチル様は元気そうですが、no problems worth mentioning. そうですか。それは良かったです。今日からは風見さんとずっと一緒にいますから、もしご用があれば何なりと申し付けてくださいね。もちろんミチル様も遠慮はいりませんからね。それでは私荷物の整理を。サチは普通のこと言ってるだけ